Hello, I'm Jennifer with Blacksmith 3D. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the display groups. To start off with, I'm going to import a CR2 file, and here I'm using Victoria 4.2. I'm going to go on and import in the textures and the morphs. If you're just working on painting a texture, then really the only thing you would want to bring in or need to bring in is the textures. So now that I've imported Victoria 4, I'm going to use the F1, F2, and F3 keys to toggle. Mainly here just F1 and F2. F2 is my zoom in and out. F1 is my move. So I literally just hover my fingers over those keys while I'm working to make it faster and easier for me. So once it loads, it defaults to the Maps tab, but what I'm wanting to work on here is the display groups. And by default, there's just one big all polygon groups right now. So I would do a right click on display groups, and there's two different ways to create new groups. You can create it from the materials, or you can create it from the groups. But here, I'm going to go look at my materials first and see my list of options by double clicking on it and then here I'm going to look at my groups by double clicking on it. As you can see we have a lot more groups than we do materials so for this example I'm going to stick with just using the materials to make new display groups. And This way I can actually isolate just the head and neck that I say I want to work on it to create a new face texture with makeup but I don't really want to worry about the rest of the body so here I can go through and turn off all of these other things. Now I have gone through and by double clicking I have turned off the areas that I know I'm not going to want to paint on like the inner mouth, the gums, the teeth, the tongue um, for a minute I left the eyelashes on just to show you um, a lot of people ask why does it say that there's no map for the eyelashes and the forehead area and that's because the eyelash and the eyebrow region are trans mapped and they don't actually so when that trans map is applied you don't really see the map that's underneath it so if you want to see the, the actual texture that's underneath that for painting purposes, you would actually just turn these off, both the eyelash. By double clicking the first time is a lock, the second time is turning it off so that you don't see it. And the same thing with the eyebrow region. Double clicking twice, the first time to lock, the second time to turn it off. And that way you can then actually see the forehead region along with the eyelash area. If you're doing a paint texture and you want to make sure that you do not paint where the eyes currently are, you can actually turn off all of those areas too, like the eye surface area, and paint that in. And another good reason for using the display groups is for, say you're just wanting to do facial morphs, you can isolate those with display groups also. But it comes in pretty handy for texture painting, um, especially if you're doing a lot of clone painting where you're doing a lot of fine details on a face or um, knuckles, fingers, toes, feet, things of that nature, it can come in pretty handy to just isolate those areas that you're wanting to focus on. So that's a quick overview of the display groups. Hope you found it useful and hope you look for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.